Not since 2003 have oil prices been this low. Today, the price of a barrel of crude oil fell to below $28, thanks to a glut of oil in the market and the prospect of yet more to come now that sanctions against Iranian oil exports have been lifted. That's good news for anyone who wants lower energy costs, but it may not be such good news for those who rely on the revenue from oil. As Simon Grompertz now report, reports. Knock out the international tension and you knock down the price of oil. Sanctions on Iran have been removed, so the country aims to add hundreds of thousands more barrels of oil per day to a flooded market. The price of North Sea Brent crude has already slid from well over $100 a barrel, dipping below $28 today, as experts try to work out how much Iran will add to supply. I don't think they're going to be able to sell more, a lot more immediately. We think anywhere between 250 and 400,000 barrels per day. They are talking about a million barrels per day, uh, but that's simply not going to be possible without Western expertise. The other factor is China. Its exports less than expected. Its industry growing more slowly, so there's not such a thirst for oil, making it cheaper for us. And this is the result of the collapsing oil price. Petrol down from over £1.40 a litre to an average of, well, slightly less than that, just over a pound. And the impact on the cost of the typical car fill-up, well, that's around £20 less. Businesses which depend on fuel welcome the reductions too, and there could be more to come. Uh, we think there's still uh, movement southwards in prices. We would like to see those happening uh, sooner rather than later. We would like the January sales to be continuing for drivers. Uh, take diesel, for example. The wholesale price of diesel has been below that of petrol for the past fortnight. That's not yet reflected at the pumps. But there's also disruption to financial markets. The turmoil here can affect the value of people's pension funds. And in the North Sea, where thousands of production jobs are being lost, with more livelihoods under threat. Simon Gompertz, BBC News. Dementia patients admitted to hospitals in England play Russian roulette with their health. That's the stark warning from the Alzheimer's Society, which says it's found evidence of poor and variable care. In some hospitals, patients are far more likely to have a fall, and too many are being discharged at night. Our health correspondent Adam Brimelow reports. Iris Meyer was...